from New York. So something weird happened to me the other day. I was talking to a stranger, a woman I've never met before. She was eating a macadamia nut cookie. And in the middle of our conversation, one of the nuts from the cookie floated from her mouth, your mouth. into the air and landed right on my lip. She knew it happened. I knew what happened. I didn't want to make it weird, but I did. Because my initial reaction was, uh, I swiped that nut, chewed it, and swallowed it from another woman's mouth. How do you, how do you continue the conversation after that? What's up, everybody? I'm Phil Quartz. Thank you so much. Special, so I'm so happy you guys are here, but there are some special guests in the audience, and I'm looking right at them, and it's my parents. Yeah. You guys are going to learn a lot about my family, so <laughs> mom, dad, sorry. so sorry, <laughs> so sorry, that's just the way it is, <laughs> but I actually heard you laugh at a porn joke, mom, I heard you laugh. Porn joke, I heard your laugh at everyone else, so everything, everything's free reign right now. I, I just made the news, and I don't really know how I feel about it. My parents love Disney World. They love everything about it. Of course. They can't even drink their morning coffee unless it's in a Mickey mug. So for Mother's Day, I decided to paint a giant Mickey Mouse in my parents' backyard. Word spread through social media, and the news wanted to interview me. Hashtag famous, what's up? So I had to have a perfect speech, and, and what I wanted to say was, I'm an aspiring comedian. My parents have truly supported me in my dreams. So to thank them, I painted their favorite Disney character in the backyard. Nice, simple, sweet. This was the first time a big ass camera was in my face. And that just changed the whole scenario. Because I froze up. I forgot all my lines and I yelled. I yelled at this reporter. I said, I, I used my hands to paint Disney things in my parents' backyard. Same paint is for comedy. What? What? Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to do that again. Do you mind if I try that again? Yes. And no sooner did I say that than the woman pull out her cell phone. Accident on 95. Kid, we gotta go. What? This is my first shot at fame, at stardom, and that's what comes out of my mouth? But it's okay, it's okay, because they have editing tricks. They're not gonna make me look like an idiot on TV. So my friends, family, everyone is so excited for me to be on the news. And the headlines of the news says, Autistic kid pays for parents. <laughs> That is not the kind of publicity that I wanted, really. I actually just got back from Disney, where I spend every vacation of my life. Thank you guys so much for that. My parents took me to Disney when I was seven years old, and I loved it. Loved yeah. everything about it. Yeah. But they haven't taken me anywhere else since. Yeah. Do you know how many times it takes to ride the It's a Small World ride I want to kill yourself? Yeah. Answers once. And I don't have the heart to tell them that I grew out of this years ago. But man, does it suck. And all my friends have sent me their pictures of their all-inclusive vacations to Cabo. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm the only 26-year-old trapped in the Magic Kingdom following my parents in matching many years and fanny packs. <laughs> my dad's rocking the sandals with the socks. <laughs> yeah. He looks like my balding gay aunt. <laughs> My mom's wearing her pants so high they double as a sports bra. <laughs> Seems like a very attractive family, I think. <laughs> I've been to Disney so many times, I managed to memorize the speech they give at the beginning of every single ride. Please be seated to the Magic Carpet that's coming. Please stop. Please also grab all small children by the hand. We're not sponsored for you. Also, no runs. We're going to have a magical day at Disney World. <laughs> Disney World. <laughs> Point is, I've been there a lot. 
I don't really need Rosetta Stone. <laughs> 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 <laughs>